How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the video. My name is Eight Thoughts. Thanks very much for uh, coming by, checking out the video. Hope you're all having a great day. And listen, dudes, we're going to jump into some weird stuff here. A fan, someone doesn't have a YouTube channel, not even a Twitter, nothing doesn't care. Send me some kind of strange information, some documents, some leaked information, some, you know, long story short, he did his research and he found out some funky stuff here when it comes to Activision and Black Ops 4 and what, what, what just would make you kind of not really like the franchise any more than you already do. Because we all know Black Ops 4, Blackout, you got this Blackout season pass which is a ripoff which everyone just sort of somehow seem to forget about the fact they have to charge you the whole price for the maps you can't buy them separately if you don't know what's going on you got to pay up front like an extra i don't know how many too much money doesn't matter if it's five dollars everyone else out here gives you free maps like battlefield 5 fortnite all that stuff free updates anyways i'm digressing uh there's no campaign this year vondahar is out here super hyped on blackout this Thinks it's going to be the next big thing since, you know, seeing me naked. <laughs> and we all know that the multiplayer looks like a Call of Duty Black Ops 4 reskin, boots on the ground. There's nothing, anything really special going on there. 5v5, they've copied from other games. And anyone who's played the game at early release COD XP, even the biggest Call of Duty COD paid Activision employees here on YouTube have even actually been very, you know, nice about how bad it is. So, without any further ado, let's just jump in this Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Conspiracy. Now, like I said, a YouTuber, subscriber, a fan sent me all this information, did the research, looked into it, doesn't have a YouTube, doesn't have a Twitter, nothing like that, doesn't care. It was just like, hey man, this needs to be put out here. He wants me to do it because he knows I'm the best, so thank you very much for recognizing that. Here's the email, here's the pictures he sent me, and we're going to talk about it. Hi, thoughts. So back when the first info on Black Ops 4 leaked, there was a rumor that Raven Software was the primary developer for the Blackout mode. I believe this to be true, and I've found a few sources on the net stating this screenshots attached to this mail. It's not concrete proof, but I really get the impression that Activision is kind of covering this up. You know, big hope, surprise, Activision, you know, being dishonest to us. Oh, you know, of course, Activision, the best company in the world. Why, you may ask? Well, Black Ops 4 has no campaign. The multiplayer is essentially a reskin of Black Ops 3, which we've already explained it is. The PC port is being done by Beanox, and Blackout is probably being developed by Raven. What the hell has Cherish been working on for three years? Laziest AAA developer ever, perhaps? Well, there's also some information that has been leaked out before that Treyarch had this whole crazy vision that they're going to make Black Ops 4 some kind of weird game. Next level, they totally went nuts. Activision is like, nope. Reeled them all the way back in and said no. So I think they're scrambling because the actual game they wanted to make, maybe the campaign they already were working on, had to be scrapped. And they don't want to talk about that. And what we're getting for Black Ops 4 is going to be a rushed game. That's the point here. I'm sure Activision does not want more outraged fans with all the flack they've been getting over the Black Ops Pass and the cut campaign. Black Ops Pass, talk about that. Black Ops Pass is a complete ripoff. You're getting charged for all the maps right up front instead of everyone else giving away free DLC like Battlefield 5 and every other game out there working towards free DLC and free maps to keep the community together. Uh, Fortnite, new DLC, guns, all that stuff they put into the game for free. All the updates, but no Activision, smartest company in the world. You're going to have to pay for all of it at once. You can't buy it separately. Decide on whether what maps you want or don't want. You're getting it all right now. And on top of that, you're getting less maps with the DLC and all the other maps coming together than you would on a normal game. It's a complete ripoff. But honestly, I'd like to know what the hell is going on with this game's development and Raven should be, or should rather, get the recognition they deserve. Exclamation point! By the way, Raven was also responsible for develop developing the war game mode on COD World War II, which in my honest opinion was the best part of the game. Probably was. So, long story short, Raven was responsible, I messed that sentence up, for developing the war game mode on COD World War II. Now let's just jump into these screenshots that he's showing. Back on April 17th, 2018, from Charlie Intel, rumor Raven Software possibly working on Battle Royale mode for Black Ops 4. Charlie Intel heard similar rumors last month from a tipster, and the same tipster also informed CI that Raven Software has reportedly been tasked with adding a Battle Royale mode to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 to fill the content gap of no campaign. Raven Software teased on Twitter in March that they are changing their artwork around in the office, stating more information is coming soon and that could be related to Call of Duty. Black Ops 4, Blackout. Once again here, another information, Senior Manager of Public Relations of Activision, an email sent out, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is published by Activision, a wholly owned subsidiary of Activision, Blizzard, blah blah blah, and developed by award-winning developer Treyarch with additional development support from Raven Software and Beanox. Here we are on Wiki. Notes, Beanox provides support for Treyarch PC team, the Blackout mode is handled by Raven Software. 
Here's some more information as well. Blackout. Black Ops 4 Blackout's Call of Duty's take on Battle Royale details here. Battle Royale for Black Ops 4 was leaked earlier this year and supposedly Lee being developed. Am I reading English really well? Any thoughts? Come on, pick it up. Between Treyarch and Raven Software. So this dude did do some research, found a bunch of references on the internet from actual reputable sources talk about how Raven Software is working with Treyarch on the Blackout mode. Meanwhile, we got Vondahar over here going, Blackout! You know, we're all pumped up. We're doing it the Call of Duty Treyarch way. But we're doing it the Raven Software way? I mean, this is making not a lot of sense at all to me. I mean, what the hell have they been doing for the last, like, three years? So here's what I think is going on, and this is what the rumors are, and this is what you've heard from people of why this is happening and why the game doesn't look very innovative. It looks like Call of Duty Black Ops 3.5 boots on the ground and the blackout mode and copying the Battle Royales that are popular now, like Fortnite and PUBG, having no campaign, really focusing on zombies. Is that at the beginning of the Call of Duty cycle when Treyarch was supposed to be making their game, they were making some crazies apparently way out there. It wasn't going to be boots on the ground. It was going to be like Black Ops 4.5. It's going to be like really, really, I guess, way different. They're trying to innovate. They're trying to, you know, do what they wanted to do. And they had the campaign built around this as well. And Activision, who's their boss, and a bad one at that, told them, like, no, we're going back to boots on the ground. We're going to be changing it up. you got to make it boots on the ground. And completely trashed all their ideas, apparently, and left them scrambling with, you know, not knowing what to do with not enough time to make a game. So they went and basically copy and pasted Black Ops 4, the same characters, the same specialists for the most part, the same gunplay, the same sound, the same animations, and made it boots on the ground and saw, like, okay, well, uh, we'll, uh, we'll just take some ideas from Rainbow Six. Yeah, I'll make a 5v5. Oh, uh, health stems. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, we need more coffee, Jim. Uh, more Adderall. We need to pump it up here. We're on a deadline. Oh, my God. And Von Hart's like, oh, I'm going to grow a giant beard and look like a homeless guy because I'm stressed out. I'm out of here. I'm making blackout. Oh. And now we are left with this shell of a game called Call of Duty Black Ops 4, a.k.a. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 point crap. That's my opinion, and I think that's what the uh, rumors are on the street if I'm, you know, listening to the right kids. I honestly think Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is going to bomb. It seems like they're really just, you know, like if you think Black Ops is going to launch in a couple months here and actually look good with 64 players, which they've never done Call of Duty. Keep harping on this, keep saying this. They couldn't even handle a, you know, Call of Duty team deathmatch mode with 9v9. I mean, they try to make it some kind of, you know, bigger mode, and all you do is get lag and horrible hit detection. And Church is notoriously known for not having the best hit detection in Call of Duty history. And Activision is not really known for being very honest. Let's just be honest with that. <laughs> so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for the info there, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you for putting it forth to me. It seems that there is a little bit of a cover-up going on here between Activision and Treyarch and not letting everyone really know that uh, Raven Software is the one really worried, sort of working on the blackout mode. And that's what Von Hart keeps talking about. He's working on. So what the hell have they been doing for three years? I'll tell you what the hell they've been doing. They've been making DLC supply drop pay to win guns and uh, emotes and anything they can do to try to make money and get dumb kids to use their parents' credit cards to buy more COD points to buy skins and all kinds of stuff in the blackout mode and the multiplayer mode. I'll tell you that much because they know the sales are going to go down and so therefore they have to make up the money somewhere to their shareholders because that's all Activision cares about is their shareholders. So they probably been the last three years working on the best ways to scam money out of kids and people by, you know, trying to dupe them into buying supply drops and DLC and guns and blackouts pass and crap like that so ladies and gentlemen there we go some more amazing call of duty information that just makes me really super duper cooper excited for blackouts 4 it's gonna be a big year for call of duty guys it's gonna be the best call of duty ever we all know this activision greatest company in the world i can't wait to see more t martin and drifter and hollow point and all these other <laughs> head youtubers put out the same generic call of duty content year after year it's gonna be awesome so with all that being said my friends Thank you very much for dropping on by, watching the video. Hope you had a great time. If you did, which I'm sure you did, subscribe. And last but not least, and most importantly, my friends, I need you all to stay black. You don't let the honky crack reptile you shape into building and we base hard this rain. Ten bells down the pit of school tower seven. They're my behemoth growth worse than owls. They're this flat. Moon landing was fake. White man. Bring it down.